Greenpeace activists, including Tasmanian Colin Russell, could leave Russia within days after learning their hooliganism charges are being dropped. The activists, known as the Arctic 30, were arrested and detained for protesting against Russian oil drilling in the Arctic in September. They were granted amnesty earlier this month. Frank Hewitson, one of the newly freed Arctic 30, spoke with CNN earlier about the sobering conditions inside the prison. The prison was of a different time zone. It was truly like stepping back in time. Um, it was dilapidated. Uh, it was filthy. Uh, rats. Uh, some of the central heating didn't work. Uh, the windows were broken. The exercise yards were, were awful. Um, it, it was a very strange mix of some kind of joke in a John le Carre novel from the Cold War. It, it was grim. I don't regret them for a moment. Uh, it was an absolutely necessary step to take. Uh, we need to bring attention to the grave risk that, is, uh, that we're facing because of the actions of oil companies and the puppet regimes that they control. This is a threat to the whole planet, it's a threat to the fragile Arctic region. Uh, this is something that, that needs to be addressed on a global level, and we certainly uh, uh, need to do it from Greenpeace. And no, I did not regret it for a moment. They can head home now that criminal charges have been dropped as part of an amnesty, though they stress their campaign is far from over. But we're not, uh, not finished. We can go home, yes, but uh, what we came to do is uh, uh, try to make people aware of what's going on in the Arctic, that's something we, uh, we have to continue in a different way. The so-called Arctic 30 were arrested in September after an attempt to scale a Russian oil rig in the Arctic. They spent two months in detention. Initially accused of piracy, they later faced hooliganism charges punishable by seven years in jail. Their amnesty and the release of other high-profile prisoners in Russia removes an irritant in relations between the Kremlin and the West ahead of the Winter Olympics in Sochi.